It's a common disorder. We believe that about 1% of the population in the United States could have celiac disease or should have celiac disease, but not everybody has been diagnosed yet. It's estimated only about 10 to 15% of those 1% of the U.S. have a diagnosis at this time. It affects almost all the body systems. Traditionally, we think of it as a problem affecting the digestive tract because that's the form of celiac disease that we knew 50 years ago, something that affected children, caused them to lose weight, have diarrhea, stunted their growth and made them very ill, anemic, all kinds of problems. Now we know this disease affects people still that way, but in many other ways. They may have no digestive symptoms. They may just have iron deficiency anemia. They may have type one diabetes, yet have celiac disease at the same time and not know that they're affected by celiac disease. It used to be thought of as a childhood disease. Uh, that's when, when I was training way back when in medical school, that's how we thought of it, was a child's disease. Um, kids that were about two years old would start to show it. Now the average age of diagnosis is somebody in their 40s, in their fifth decade of life. Now they may have had celiac disease for longer. We don't now know when it starts. We haven't got a good idea. Some people may have had it for decades. Some people it just turned on recently. We don't know for sure. You have to have the genes that causes an abnormal immune response that can give rise to celiac disease. So you need the genes, and the second part of it is you need to eat a certain protein called gluten, which is found in certain grains like wheat, rye, barley, and some other grains. Traditionally, we thought of celiac disease as someone with diarrhea and malnutrition. People couldn't absorb their nutrients. Now we believe that there are people who have damage to their intestine yet don't really have any symptoms of diarrhea. They may be malabsorbing, but then they have other immune conditions occurring. They may have problems with skin rashes, they may have problems with their joints and many other manifestations of the disease. Very, very rarely would celiac disease patients need to take medication. There's only rare types of complicated celiac disease, refractory celiac disease, where they may have to take immune acting drugs. But for the vast majority of the population, it's the gluten-free diet that will treat them and heal their intestine.